All right, the code has been sent, and let us get into the final and the highest prize pool event of the day. The $200 Mystery Mode Squad event. Good, oh my gosh, Maul and Rossi. Hello, my little gamers. How you guys been? It's been a little bit. It's been a little bit. Maul and Rossi. What up, Vani? Vani's here for my the first event out of the four. Niz is here for the first event of the four. Ivy made it into an event today, first out of four. Who else? Jay the Demon coming back for vengeance, so hopefully get some money after Augie stole that. Shade Throne is back with the group as well as Sage, Zai. Oh, baby. Starting shotguns and snipers, by the way. All right, guys, game number one of Mystery Mode Squads. Game number one. Remember, kills do not matter. All that matters are wins. I'm in this somehow. Whoops. I forgot to work myself. All right, lots of players coming down near the farm area. Guys, this is shotguns and snipers. So we are going to see some very cursed images. For example, a gray sniper on the floor. Absolutely disgusting. Pretty sure there's also purple shotguns as well. All right, lots of players currently hanging out in the left side of the research as well as it looks like we have a full team hanging out in the health boost factory as well. Two teams are currently fighting over uh, this small area south of the Bamboo Resort. Other than that, it seems like teams are just kind of being chilling and hanging out in separate areas of the map right now. Ma, Nixoria, Ralsi, and Encrypt kind of hanging out. Edgar, Muttcraft taking a step away. Tarantino and the Spanish crew is hanging out in the Thomas' Sundra. It is 1.2 gas speed, so they are going to have to start making their way down pretty quickly here. Now, the mole crates are very valuable in this mode because obviously you're going to want to be getting those gold snipers as well as the chance for a gold shotgun as well. Both of those items are going to be very valuable in this mode. Green sniper picked up. I wonder if there's going to be any double sniper players. I love playing double sniper. One of my favorite silly things to do. I wonder if anyone else is going to try to run it or if everyone is just going to hold one sniper and one shotgun. It seems like everyone is a one and one right now. All right, Shave Throne and team are kind of getting this st squad stuck here in this corner. Floof, going to be one HP under... Our Unifer goes down as well. Globagoo killing with a melee, and just like that, they're going to be out the game. All C's going to take off Naox. Naox is one of our best players from the four fun rounds of the SVR post-tournament. As there is a team of four at the bottom of the Saw Security and running south. Players coming face-to-face -face for just one moment. Good shots coming out there. Shade Throne and Zai staying in a tight formation left side of Saw Security. As there seems to be two teams fighting up here in the north side. Now are they chasing Terran? They are. They're chasing Tarantino and Tarantino's squad mate into the zone right now. Tarantino will get knocked. Nixoria double shotgun to get them out of the game. And they're going to start running south immediately. Ralsi, Ma, Nixoria, and Incrit are doing just fine right now. Hanging out as a nice little death ball. As we see four default boxes coming face to face with that team that we were just discussing. Right now, Vani, Ma, Suhei, and Niz are currently just kind of bing chilling here at the bottom right side of the map. They're just willing to sit down here by themselves, hang out, and make sure that they are in the next zone. They're about to come to face to face with Eevee, Ruki, Draven, and Harna, though, which can be a very scary team to have to fight. Yeah, it seems like they're going to start backing up almost immediately. So many players currently hanging up here at the saw security like seriously maybe three or four teams here we're going to see what happens all of them going after clumsy and clumsy finally does go down to swat map swat swat map. that's called dyslexia by the way sweat mob rather and taking good shots landing shots as well and flitzery is going to go down to actually get knocked to skunk gas people are not respecting this gas speed right now 
Once again, today is all about action. We are going to make the action happen one way or another. I don't care how many people. There can be 51. There can be 64 people in this lobby. We are keeping that 1.2 gas speed. Let's keep the high action the entire time as Vani and Moffle go for a super wide rotate. But they will survive this next battle because they decided not to fight it out. I'm surprised there are so many people playing for kills right now. Once again, only wins matter. Only wins matter. The team that comes with the most wins is going to win our top prize of $100 split among the four of them. So kills do not matter. They might look flashy if you're a content creator and you're streaming. That would probably be pretty sick. But other than that, you should just be conserving resources, conserving ammo, and trying to get this W at the very end of the game. But man, I do love the sniper, and these shots are doing a good number on my ear right now. I love the sound of a good sniper shot in the morning. Players going down left, right, Harna down, Nixoria down, Ma dead, Remy dead, Ash Shameful goes down as well. Only a few players are actually left standing. It looks like Shave Throne's team are playing the most intelligently right now, hiding at the bottom by themselves, not taking any fights as Shave Throne tries to go for a melee kill, but they're shut down by Draven. Kriya and Zai full HP. Heal offs going left, right, and center. Ralsei is going to be winning the heal off right now. Kriya, the next biggest HP. Zai chasing as well. Ralsei might come across with the win here, and Ralsei does win! Ralsei, Ma, Encrypt, and Nexoria taking the first game with an expertly done little heal off at the end. And they are looking a okay to start off this tournament. Game number two, super slow bullets. We're going to have to see what sort of strategies these teams implement to be a little bit more resourceful. Yes, this is a mystery mode squads tournament. Our fourth and final tournament of the day. We have done a $100 SVR tournament. We've done a $100 solos tournament. We have done a $100 2v2 dodgeball tournament. And this is our $200 squads tournament. What is in your cup? Water. So yeah, pretty much purple drank. All right, several players landing on each other in this small area. No one's gonna go down just yet though. Yasvikis and Sage are kind of trying to find this player. It is slow bullets. So we're going to have to see what sort of... Um, what sort of... Guns these players want to go for with that being a fact. Are they going to go for more spammy guns? Is everyone going to try to find a DCG? We will find out very shortly. As Muttcraft and several others are battling it out in this right side of research right now for control. Big nade comes through, almost kills Mudcraft. Another big comes through, almost takes on Jay the Demon. Jay the Demon knocks the back, so we're gonna have to see if these players decide to start pushing. Other than that, we have a few players in the super animal super stage, nothing going on there. Nothing going on in the pyramid just yet. Just still a lot of action in this right side of the research lab. We are going to go ahead and take a look at our winners for last game. See how coordinated they are. See how well they are staying together. Wait, where are they? Oh, there, here they are. Look how smart they're playing. They literally just went literally across the world than any other team. And they are literally just making sure they all have max tape, max juice, and everything in between. I can firmly tell you no to that one. Zai, Ian is going down. Zai, ooh, Zai, actually a good idea with the super right laser, because that is still tossing out some very fast bullets. You're going to need to conserve some ammo when it comes to that weapon, though. We have some players that are finally starting to make their way in from the zone. Meanwhile, our winning team is currently sitting in the Pixel, Pixel port, and they're about to run into some other players face-to-face. Ma shooting some darts at the team that is now running away. That team is clumsy and away, and they are stepping away from the fight. Shave Thrones and friends hanging out outside of the Health Boost Factory currently. Kaja, thank you for that follow. 
Can't you underscore if I just become six feet ten inches? You're not six foot ten inches. Six foot and ten inches. Just like me. Holy moly, I cannot speak right now. You can tell I'm getting CP. Alright, in this top left, Terry and Tino is going to be able to take down some players, and we will just get to see their super pet crying on the floor as Glob of Goo is able to find Biscuit, who is sitting by themselves as well. Bloop and Flitzeri's team is currently sitting on the right side of the farm, but there are several teams that are going to be pushing forward into them. Are my ancestors from China? Probably not. I think, I'm, I think I have European descent. Probably. In the top left, there are several players looking to battle it out here, including Ivy and several others. Harna taking some shots. Okay, this is where things are about to get real wacky. Super slow bullets, several players on emus, um, several players in handballs as well. And we're gonna have to see what they wanna do here. Once again, this is mystery mode, man. You, in mystery mode, we leave everything up. We keep that 1.2 gas speed, but we are leaving in the heat emus and the handballs. Have fun with it, it's gonna be silly. It's going to be dumb. It's going to be stupid. And that's exactly how we want. No, no, not vehicles disabled L. This is mystery mode. It's time to grow up, nut up, or shut up, MKL. You get to battle it out with the emus. You get to battle it out with the handballs as well. And you better be thankful for them as well. Because when we get to the one-shot game mode, you're going to wish that you had an ammo, a, a emu or a handball to be hiding in. Trust me. Several players playing all sides of the map right now. Look at all of the emus happy. Yeah, I know, we're giving Shave Throne a big chance here to pick up some wins. Shave Throne. Wait, MK, I made you happy too. You have the second most emu kills in the entire world. I'm not going to let you cap and escape from this one, buddy. Nice try. Currently, we have Zai, who is currently holding the most kills in the entire game right now. Zai is... Looking good. Two kills on the board. I have a feeling that might change very soon, though, because there's going to be a lot of players dying very quickly. Yeah, you're literally second in the world for them. I looked it up. So many people getting knocked. The slow bullets. The slow bullets no longer matter. Some players are finally starting to just go after players with melee to conserve some ammo. Ivy slips in the bottom left. Tarantino's looking at one HP right now. Skunkass is cutting his team off as well. Wumpus is pushing into the building, smacks a person one time. There are four teams holding the center of the building right now. Draven is gonna go down the top side. Harna, Ruki, and Eevee are currently chilling. They're getting some big heals off right now. That's going to be very helpful. Except Suhei is coming with a BCG and absolutely slams MKL's entire team. Not MKL's. Slams Eevee's entire team. Wumps is looking very low. They have a dart gun. Shoot me with a dart gun. Shoot me with a dart gun. Yes, look. Macha is literally screaming. Shoot me with the dart gun. Shoot me with the dart gun. And look. That's why you make the shoot me with the dart gun call right there. Because of the dart gun with the super slow bullets, they were able to win the heal off and Remy Fox and Matcha's team is going to be pulling up a win in game number two. An absolute banger. What's up, dead? All right, game number three. Let us see what changes now that we are part of the wild, wild west. Let's see what sorts of guns we find for these players and what type of strategies. Whoa, purple hunting rifle. I'm pretty sure uh, that Blue Jay-Z have seen one of those in his wet dreams. I'm not going to lie. Purple hunting rifle, I'm pretty sure somewhere in the world, um, Blue Jay-Z just felt a disturbance in the force. Anyways, um, we have lots of players deciding to fly over the saw security right now and into Pixel Port. It looks like two teams of four are going to be contesting this area on the far right. Shade Thrones team is going to be sitting inside of the Super Animal Super Stage. And we have two teams contesting each other in the Super Sea Land as well. Rookie's team is going to have free reign inside of the saw security. 
and Flitzery and Sweat Mop are going to have free reign of the Pixel Port. Remy Fox, Ico, and Macha decide to go very far up north. They must all like it nice and cold and chilly up there. <laughs> it's alright, I'm about to go take a very hard nap, aka sleep until tomorrow freaking morning. Lots of shots coming out on the right side. Hunting rifle. Dude, so many hunting rifles out here. This is about to be so fun to watch. Oh my gosh, the purple revolver. It looks absolutely weird in the chat. Lots of players coming from the pyramid, going into the secret room. Looks like nothing too fancy. There's gonna be a purple revolver outside of the pyramid though. This is Squad's Mystery Mode. Remember what's going on now. $200 of money is going to be given out here. Uh, Sweat Mop taking some shots at Muckcraft and friends who are in the Health Juice Factory. There's one team in the north side of the Pixel Port, and Nixoria and Ma are currently having to make a super far run. Obviously, they were not paying attention that much. Tarantino and Ivy are going to be making their way out of the south zone, taking lots of store damage as well. Ico's team is just totally bing chilling up here in the Thomas' Tundra. They're going to have as much loot as they could possibly want. Two teams on the far top right. And they're absolutely owning this circle right now. But they might run into each other here in a moment. Let's see what happens. On the left side, Shadow is going to go ahead and hit a little slipping tin for no reason. I don't really think there was any enemies around. As Vani is going to knock a player. It seems like there is an insane mass of players here above the research labs to the top right let's see mopple has a gold revolver i would love to know how much damage a gold magnum does maybe mopple can tell tell me later i'm surprised mopple wasn't playing with the eu boys speaking of the eu boys where are they right now where is rookie where is draven and are they dead Wait, they're all dead. What? Wait, they were the first squad to die. Wait, they got... They died in 1 minute and 45 seconds? They A squad wipe? Wait, what is happening? What happened to them? Huh? That doesn't seem right. Wait, you guys lost the 4v4? Really? That's interesting. All right, lots of shots happening with the hunting rifles right here. We're gonna have to see how players choose to abuse the emus and the handballs. Now there are no heals for the emus, so they should be going down very shortly. Bottom left, look at all of these players trying to survive. Doesn't look like it's gonna be able to happen. Uh, some of these players, their magnums are doing a ton of damage. Doesn't matter, Draven, because there's no kill or placement points. It's just about wins. Yeah, for mystery mode, we leave everything. We leave everything in. We leave handballs and emus in. It is the ultimate madness. It is supposed to be chaotic. That is what mystery mode was made for, and we're going to make sure this is no different. Handballs and emus, we've had some interesting uses so far. We just saw a player run over the bananas with the handballs to kind of give them access to a new area. Ivy is currently four on the floor. Unifer as Winter and Ivy will finally go down as well. Tons of players on this left side when we look at the circle. Colonel is currently at the top. Amazing Wumps taking some shots to the players to the left side. Encrypt goes down. Rossi goes down. Ma is trying to heal inside of the zone. Has to hide momentarily. Starting to cup is not going to be able to survive. We're going to see Ma going down any second. Ma does go down and that is going to be it for them. Shave Throne getting a massive amount of healing currently just by... Um, I thought he was eating mush or eating out of those banana peels, but he was not. If someone has a forker, they're going to have so much heals here. But no, we're coming down to the final circle. Aiko just seems to be standing still. Remy starting the heal, so is Macha. Top right, Kriya has been healing this whole time. Remy actually loses their cup and they're going to get knocked because of it. But Macha is actually... Aiko, Macha, Amazing Wumps, Remy are going to win a second game. And they're actually going to be back-to-back -back Ws. 
putting them firmly in first place. All right, tons of players popping out here to the left side of the Super Pyramid, but it actually seems like we had one team hot drop. It is going to be Nizuhei, Vani, and Moffle just trying to find whatever lootations they can over on that side. King Azumi is currently by themselves in the Thomas's Tundra Penguin Palace right now. Uh, we're going to have to see if Eevee and Draven and that squad can kind of bring it back after what happened last game. I think they're just not playing conservative enough. They need to seriously just hide until the last circle and then try to go psycho killer mode. But for now, they're not playing wise, like wise old men. They're just trying to be uh, no ego zaned and just constantly fight. So we'll have to see what happens there. Flitzery fighting in the health juice factory. Actually not fighting. I don't know why I said fighting. They are currently just being chilling. I forgot that this is Bananarama. So we're going to have to see if maybe some extra bananas is going to do anything to any of these players as well as how the bullets look when they turn into bananas see if that negatively affects anyone or positively affects any player uh Vani and Niz, they're just hanging out all by themselves here at the top zone in the super right now there is two teams fighting here i've already seen multiple banana slips is just landing appearing with every grass piece being broken dual pistols spamming out those bananas but it looks like no player will go down for now all right nizzin squad kind of hanging out in a tight ball good you guys want to stay as a little kill ball for sure um evie and draven and friends have wait is rookie in here Wait, Rookie is in the middle of nowhere by himself. What is happening? I think they might just be having some sort of communication breakdown right now because they just don't seem to be on the same level. A lot of these players over here are trading guns, dropping each other armors and such. Obviously, they have some sort of hier hierarchy for their lootations, which seems to be a good idea. Muttcraft is going to take that formed, and we will have to see what these players have to do. Niz is kind of creating a protective barrier over here in the center of the zone as Wumps and Aiko are trying to collect some emus and some other uh, resources to store in the right side of the super animal stage for now. Um, players top left, wow, it looks like the entire lobby is currently sitting in the Saw Resort right now. Lots of players fighting out, Bloop is going to go down to Dixoria, Fex is down to Floof, so... Oh my gosh, look at the amount of players fighting over here right now. And most of this fighting is for nothing because, I mean, kills aren't going to do anything for you. It just seems like it's not worth just constantly fighting and using all of your resources. I was just expecting people to be so safe and hide until the very end of the game and then try to battle it out in tight little circles. But for nothing, for, for some reason, we just continue on to battle it out. Vani and Suhei is coming across Shave. They have several emus and they're kind of just riding around together, chilling for now. Clumsy and Default Otter are having to run into the zone. Very far run for them. Aiko hanging out at the very bottom of zone right now. Almost no players have gone down so far. Four players, four emus down in the south. Now that could potentially be very dangerous, but for now it's going to work out just fine for them. Draven and Eevee are currently getting chased by a few players on emus. They're going to want to stay together as the mole crate is just spawned in the very, very, very center of the map here. Shave Throne is currently sitting on top of it, but I don't know if they're going to try to make a play out of it. Shave Throne letting his emu get hurt a little bit. He's definitely going to be popping off to heal it just a little bit. I guarantee it. He always keeps his emus in top shape. Sage and friends currently hiding in the firing range. They look A-OK -okay for now. But a team full of two emus are coming in. And the pecs are coming out. Bananas everywhere. Biscuit goes down so fast. Izumi is trying to head out the top left. He says, I, right, I'm going to head out. And he heads out of the left side of the firing range. Oh my gosh. Evie has a banana minigun. What am I witnessing right now? That sounds abs that looks and sounds absolutely horrendous. 36 players remain and we are in a very tiny circle. 
This is going to get very serious very quick, and we are going to see so many players start to fall one by one, two by twos, four by fours. And let's see what Emmy wants to do, or Evie wants to do. Does Evie want to use some of this light ammo? They only have 189 shots left. It might be time to start holding Mouse 1 as Evie takes down Sage on the right shot. He has Vickis currently in the storm. Evie doesn't see them for now. Evie pulls out the minigun. Banana splattering everywhere. Multiple players dying on the far left right now. Shade Throne and friends are trying to hang out at the bottom of this area as Kriya also has a minigun. Both crates dropped a minigun this game as Away is going to take out Yazvikas and that entire team is going to go down. 25 players remain. So many players using miniguns as well as super right lasers. Suhei goes down. Waffle goes down. Bonnie looking low HP. Encrypt on the floor. And it just seems like the minigun is going to reign supreme. Oh my gosh. Not a single person on their team died. All it took was one minigun, a few M16s, and all four of these players were looking healthy. And there we go. That is seeming more up the competitive players' alleys. We have Harna, Ruki, Draven, and Evie picking up their first game, game number four, and we are officially at the halfway zone. All right, handguns only going into game number five, more than halfway through our tournament and our last event of the night. Let's finish strong so I can go to bed. I am ready. I've been on SAR for the last 10 hours and six minutes, trying to be upbeat, trying to cast these tournaments through all the hype moments, through all of the bands <laughs> why have i had to ban so many people today all right chafer picking up a magnum remember this is handguns only so you're probably going to be wanting to look for a what a silence pistol uh desert eagle combo i would say um somebody taking some shots a lot of players actually coming face to face early this game I wonder why this game has been a little bit different than any other game. Um, uh, lots of people are wanting to instantly come fight. Remember guys, in the lead right now, we have Ico's team. In second place, tied, we have Draven's team and Ma and Ralston's team. Ricky taking down a player with the Deagle. Magnum shooting the Magnum. Draven shooting the Magnum. Evie chasing with melee. Right, we gotta watch this. I swear, Eevee is literally the melee master. You cannot, you cannot tell me otherwise. You cannot tell me otherwise. Eevee is the melee master. Lots of players currently sitting here in the center part of the map. Ooh, Red Barrel actually takes so much damage. Incog is going to go down here. Skunk has to... Trying to separate them from their team though. They're going to have to be very careful. So Jay the Demon is going to get knocked by Harna as well. And Incog is technically going to die to their own gas. We need to see if these people... We need to see if... Um, who is going to be getting this next crate. Wow, two Desert Eagles and a Gold Silence Pistol in there. That is going to be a very good setup here. Mutt and Danny both currently healing in the zone. They have a long run. We will have to see if they survive that little battle. Uh, other than that, not a lot of ha stuff happening. Uh, it looks like Clumsy Team is playing very intelligent and kind of just sitting to the middle to top side of the map and just kind of being chilling. Let's see who is dead so far. Uh, Azumi, Jay, Incog, Shadow, Ian, Una, Winter, and Peep Peep are our players out of the game thus far, which means we have a lot of the most competitive players still in the game. So we're going to have to see what happens as the circle continues to get smaller and smaller. For now, Mafo, Suhei, Niz, and Vani. Ooh, very sneaky spot. I won't watch that for too long. I do not want to give that spot away. But it's going to be very spicy. We're going to watch them on the map right there and see if any players come across them. 
Moya taking some fantastic shots on the left. That player might dive to the zone. We'll have to check back in just one second as Bloop actually just knocked Rookie with a grenade. Hopefully they weren't in zone or that's going to be the end of the game for Rookie. Evie going absolutely crazy and taking some kills back. Let's go ahead and check in again on the boys. Still no one there. We'll check back in just a few seconds. Uh-oh, Sage, Ash, and friends might be coming. And that is some CSGO timing right there. They literally, a team rolled up on them right when they decided to move out of the circle. Mafo actually does take Macha down. Lots of players who Lump doesn't even know the amount of players on them right now. As all of these players to the south, I'm talking MKL. I'm talking, I said MKL again, Jesus. I'm talking Harna and friends. They are all so far out of the zone here, and they're going to have to start coming as fast as possible. Wumps actually knocked themselves with a cap, a, not a cap, but he stumped the lid and then got finished by another player. As Nixoria, they're kind of controlling this left side of the castle and still winning. Ivy does go down while they were trying to eat up some bananas. That is a banana fork for nerf. They might have been able to survive. One more bullet. Uh, Neo is on the right side. Formed is going to take them down. And we are going to have an absolutely insane endgame circle here. Look at all of these players in the south side. We're looking at probably 15 plus players on our screen right now. Ralsi is down the left side. Nick Sori is having to make a sprint to the top left. Flitzery hanging out here bottom left by themselves. Edgar looking good for now. Craft trying to take some pop shots from a far range. Um, Evie and Draven are staying very close to one another and they make an absolute sick pair. So if these three players stick together, they might be able to take another game here. But let's see, as Shave Throne has very good positioning right now for this final circle. Draven coming down to one HP, trying to find one last player. Gold Cup Ray does come out, but Craft chooses to trade his life for Draven. No, he's actually going to make it out just fine. Evie or Harna is running away and cupping. I think Harna is trying to find a campfire, but they're not going to find it. They are going to get second place, but Shaved Throne. Kalabuku and Zai are going to take game number five. Game number six. Well, we are 70 watch hours away from YouTube partner. Ah! I forget to ghost myself. Oh, ghost, you heard my cries and you came to save me? Hi, puppy. All right, currently lots of players over here at the Super Animal Super Stage, and several players are actually going down and staying down. We just saw Ian go, and there goes Winter as well. Sage is also somewhere knocked on the map. And it looks like Suhei is kind of just chilling over here with his squad right now. Looting up and taking it chill. Ricky Harna team sitting in the research labs being chilling style. And we will have to look here in the far right as Tarantino is going to be taking some lootations inside of the pixel board and walking away for now. Down south, here in the down south, we have several players actually going down. I don't know if we saw any players die, though, as we just saw another player resing his teammate on the floor on the other side. Default Otter is going to be running up. Are not taking some shots. Luke goes down. Hi, Ghost. What are you doing, puppy? You smelling my way? Being a good boy. Being a good puppy. As one full squad is going to go down to the hands of the comp squad over here and Harna. And Shade and Sai are going to be hanging out on an emo here at the emo. Why do I always say eight emo? I fell in love with an emo girl. Ghost cam, ghost cam, ghost cam. Puppy cam, puppy cam, puppy cam. Why is it pink? 
Let's come back to normal humor, human colors. There we go. Ghost cam, ghost cam, ghost cam, and he's off the ghost cam. Okay. Zai riding this emu, taking a battle here at the south side of the giant emu ranch. Ghost cam, ghost cam, ghost cam. He's back at the ghost cam. And uh, down here in the bottom left in the Sahara, they are healing, trading some weapons, trying to stay peak HP. Zai and Shay Throne using some campfires to heal up their emus and themselves, trying to keep as many resources as possible. The Colonel is currently chasing Aiko, and they're going to try to decide if they want to fight or if they're just going to be fine with just sitting up here with their emus and relaxing for now. Freya is going to be heading up here with Shave's team as a lot of players are already battling for position here at the top of the, at the, top of the zone. Yasvikis is fighting. Oh no, Yasvikis and Ash are on the same team. They are on a speed move and they are heading towards zone very rapidly as we saw another speed move there as well. Neo is currently in the top right outside with Eevee, they're probably going to want to start stepping in. Shave their own glove of goo. Top of left. It looks like they're chasing a team. Oh, it looks like they're chasing Wump, Aiko, and Macha here at the top left. Trying to keep them out of the zone. Looking at all the players that are already dead. We actually see Harna, Ruki, Eevee, and Draven already dead. They all put up some nice kills on the board as well. But right now, Encrypt and Nexoria are currently sitting at the highest amount of kills here in the center of the Penguin Palace. As you can currently hear a live sound of me taking a piss in about three minutes. Anyways, Dexoria, Ma, all have great positioning in the castle here. They should keep this. Honestly, I would be kind of uh, barricading the south and the west side to make sure that no players are going to be able to come behind us. We see a gold sniper on the floor as well as a gold eagle. I can't imagine that we leave these weapons on the ground, do we? We're really leaving a gold snip snip rifle on the ground. Absolutely wild. As Shaythron and friends are starting to try to third party. Oh my gosh. Default Utter 1 HP. Default Utter gets knocked. But Away will stay up. And it looks like Away is going to be the last person from that team. And they're going to be north of the palace. Shaythron trying to run so many good guns. Holding Mouse 1 on him. And that's going to be all she wrote. We will not see a Shave Throne team back-to-back -back winner. Actually, Kriya and Zai are still alive. They can actually do something masterful here. We will have to see in a second. Now, oh, that was interesting. David Demon does have a Thomas gun. Goes down fairly quick, and Azumi will follow. Lots of spam happening coming out of this top left hallway. People Otter ended up living? Really? And Away is taking shots with Encrypt in the building. But here comes Aiko's team. They are done hiding in the top. Macha, triple kill grenade. That's a great way to start the middle as Away and Default Otter are hiding in the top left. And there is a whole other team running outside of the zone as well. Wait, every single player left in the game is currently sitting in this top side of the zone. No one is currently trying to take zone and just relax and, and kind of just keep people out. Right now, they're just using their skunks. I got to lean in here because this is looking like a very good game. Shots going down. Multiple people going down. It looks like this could be all one. Ma and Nexoria. We are going to see another repeat winner here no matter what happens. Nexoria is going to have the clutch of a lifetime here on their hands as they do take down Aiko. But Amazing Wumps does take down the victory, which means... What does that mean for us? That means that Macha, Aiko, and Remy are going to be taking three wins and potentially that is going to lock them into first place unless one of these other two teams wins the next two games. Game six is going to Wamps, Macha, Aiko, and Remy, and they're going to be locked into first unless a team that already has one win wins back-to-back. -back. Anything can happen. We will have to see. But now we are coming to my favorite game mode in all of Mystery Mode, one that I've been waiting for this entire time, and we're going to see how this changes the game. Let's get started into it in just one moment. One moment. Okay, as we already have a full team that has landed in the super stage and they are looting it up by themselves, Moffel and friends deciding that they are just going to loot up on the south beach, like it is Miami down there. 
Uh, we have one team in the pyramid. They're going to be taking the secret loom and secret room and looting up. Rookie and friends are going to be going to my favorite spot, the Health Juice Factory, and trying to figure out how to clutch up a win here and potentially steal a first place. We'll have to see what happens. Yazvikis and Sage are out here in the slums grabbing whatever guns they can. As we are seeing, actually, multiple teams up here in the research labs. We have one team in the west, one team in the north, and one team in the east. We're going to have to see what sort of battles come among them shortly. But right now, Evie is actually finding Tarantino, and Tarantino is going to go down a little bit early into the game here. And we're going to have to see what that changes for their team as they begin to scatter and look for some more resources down south. Ma, Rossi, and Exoria Encrypt hanging out at the Super Riot Mountain, but it looks like they're finally starting to head towards more of the Pyramid and head towards more of the Beaver Construction HQ. And we have um, several players here down to the south of the Saw Security fighting it out, battling it out right now. And we're going to see what. I wow. Oh my god, I, thought, I literally forgot it was one shot for right now. I literally forgot it was one shot until I just saw how Wumsters died right there. Wait, hold on. Lock in. I completely forgot about this. What's up, society? Um, I completely forgot this was one shot. We're going to have to see what sort of guns these players are taking. I have no idea why you would ever play bow. That's probably a really bad pick. You either want a spam weapon, a far range spam weapon, or you want a dart to be able to instantly take out a player and not let them get rezzed. Ooh, very sneaky plays happening here in the north side of the circle. There is a team currently leaving the Health Juice Factory, a team on the right side research, and two teams at Emu Ranch. We're gonna have to see how they shape up as they start to come together. Clumsy takes out Encrypt, Clumsy takes out Ma, and that's gonna be all she wrote for the Encrypt and Ma and Ralsi team. They're going down a little bit early in this game as all of the other players, they're currently just creep walking and chilling. Shaytron is actually gonna pick up Kriya here. Pretty solid little res that are gonna be able to continue this game. Actually, Ralsi is still alive. It was just Encrypt that went down. We actually see Nexoria and Ralsi ready to continue the battle for their squad and potentially pick up another win. As many of the players here are just moving from tree to tree, waiting for just one team to appear so that they can take them out. Eevee currently just perma creep rolling so that they can have the info before any other player pops out. Rookie is going to be using the SMG because they know that it just takes one bullet. That's all it takes. One team hanging at the top as Korea just kills three players with one dart fly bullet. That is a extremely strong gun to have in a situation like this. As Tarantino's teammate Ivy will be going down and following in Tarantino's footsteps. Macha hurt hanging out in the top of Saw Security. Just trying to survive for now. So many bullets coming through, but no one dying just yet. Fex does die on the top right. Sage will go down as well. Biscuit goes down. Incog goes down as well. And we're going to have to see a lot of these players are just creeping from tree to tree and just trying to make sure that they have the most information first. First, a Walsy X Nexoria res has been done here on the right side. Korea finally goes down, and they did have a dark fly. I would be picking up that weapon if possible. Um, Ultra Potato, welcome to the chat for the very first time. Sweat Mop and Flitzrear are both down. Bloop trying to get a res off, but Eevee hits a very nice snipe. Mudcraft hits SMG from the top, and that entire team is going to go down. Thank you for that follow. Ultra Potato 9049 just become 6 feet 10 inches. You're 6 feet 10 inches just like me. Enjoy. Um, sore Brains looks like they're going to be going down to Moffle who was hanging out in the south side. Two players go down, both Suhei and Vani, and Nixoria is actually going to clean both of them up. Nixoria and Walsi have been doing a tremendous job at being able to kind of clutch up this situation here. We're going to have to see what sort of plays happen because as we can see, we do have one more player trying to be sneaky down here at the south side. I don't think they have any clue. Six players remain. This is a 2v2v1v1 right now. Anything can happen. All it takes is one bullet and Matcha is going to die to the zone before they can shoot at Nexoria. <laughs> A banana slip in 
public trading. Oh my god, Ralsei trading one for one with Edgar, making the absolute hero play. And somehow Ralsei and Nexoria are able to clutch up this victory, which is so massive for the leaderboard as they are catching the Wumps X monster team and have the potential to steal first place from them. And we have one game left, and it is going to be a random game mode from the mystery mode pool. So we are going to see what game we get right here today. And let's get started. Game number eight, the final game we have seen. We have played so much star today. We are ready to end it off with a bang. Let's make it a good last game. Handguns only. Let's see what we can do. So many teams are in contention for prize pooling right now. And we need to see what's going to happen here. As it looks like Encrypt is currently getting meleeed out by Footstreet's team. They are going to pick up a one armor. They are going to have some of the enemy players come in as well. And we might be seeing an extreme sort of start here. Ma, Nexoria, Encrypt, they're taking some kids. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Ghost is woofing at me. But it's probably because my sister has her dog in the living room right now and he's not allowed to go out there wow what a wacky last circle for this final game and it looks like only tarantino is going to be being chilling tarantino squad is going to be hanging out because they are going to have the super sea land all themselves what are you woofing about man why is it because they won't let you go out there i'm sorry dude i'm sorry hold on let me end stream and i'll see if i can free you homie Tarantino actually just took down a player. Oh, it was an AFK player from a squad. Hi, puppy. Watermelon, thank you for that follow. You're now six foot ten, just like Watermelon me. Watermelon 889 just become six feet ten inches. All right, lots of action here in the northwest corner of the Saw Security H2. So I'm getting distracted. I'm actually getting. T I'm actually diving too deep into the actual battle, and I'm not even being able to like hop around and cast. Peep peep in the storm top left needs to start making their way towards the zone, or they're going to potentially spend our last game dying in the dust. Ghost is a wooing at me because my husband would like to be freed from this prison of this room. But Harna and friends are making their way downtown, walking fast south down the road. What do you want, puppy? Default Otter and Clumsy healing on the top side. Look at this circle. This is the first ever circle that we have seen. We have been blessed by the RNG circle gods for this last game to have a full Super Sea Land circle. And look at all of these players trying to scatter like cockroaches towards this zone here knowing that they're going to have to get ahead of the game if they want to make it all the way down here. Great ideas from them. Yazvikis, Sage, their team staying very close together. Uh, it's honestly a great tactic because in just one moment, your entire team can get evaporated. Mawful, looking at Shaythorn and Zai on the right side. What are you doing standing on me like that? Pup? Excuse me. What? Ghost, don't distract me. Those one ghost and chat if you're a sub. Ow, did you have to scratch me on the way down, you butthead. Uh, eight uh, players, actually more than eight players. It looks like what's about three squads up here at the top left of zone, all battling it out. Peep Peep is getting knocked. The default otter doing good damage, no kills just yet. Kibby doing a great job with the play by play grenade or switching between their two weapons as well. Default Otter hitting a little banana heel before they start walking away. As we have a ton of players in the southmost point of the Super Sea Land battling it out. This is something that I have personally never gotten to see before in my entire life. This many players, this sort of final circle just purely happening in the center of the Sea Land. I have never seen this before. This is getting very frantic as we are going to see what type of players have expertly figured out the locations for this map, the types of areas that you can hide in, the types of areas that you want to make sure you're spamming your guns and your nades into. 
And let's see what happens next. Ma kind of trying to hold this center room with their friends. But no, Vani is in there currently contesting them. So they're not going to be able to get anything done. But Wump's hanging out with Aiko in the bottom left. Ma next to Oria doing good damage. Live by the blade, taking a zip line, following Harnet to the right side. Even needs to take that heart. <laughs> Chris is freaking out. He does not like to hear my fast casting. Draven, Harna, all hanging down here. Eevee is still alive as well. Multiple silent, gold silence pistols on the floor. They're going to want to heal up. They're going to want to tape up because this final circle is coming to a close. 22 players still alive. Wumps healing on the outside. No one has seen them just yet. Ash, Aimful, Shave, Biscuit all battling it out. Nothing happening. Wait, everything happening. King Luzami, Biscuit still alive. Shave Throne healing still alive on the right. Rookie Harna living on the left side. And oh my gosh, this could be a crazy situation here. Who's going to win? It looks like it's coming down to one bullet and a Harna. And a squad is going to come and sneak one last victory. And tie Ralsei's team for second. There we have it, an absolutely banger of a mystery mode tournament. In first place, our gold medals and $100 to split between them is going to be Ralsei. Nope, I lied. Is going to be Wumps, Macha, Aiko, and Remy. Our second place team is going to be a tie between Ralsei, Ma, Encrypt and Nexoria and Harna, Ruki, Draven, and Eevee. So the way that this is going to work, because they have a shared second place, they will add the money from second and third place um, together, and then they will split it amongst themselves. So let's see. How much money did they get anyways? It was four, It was 40 So $16, $40, $100. $100 split between eight people. What's 100 divided by eight? NA education, my fault. That's going to be $12.50 for each of them. For those eight players. And they're going to have to figure out how they want to do medals. Because some of them are going to get silver. Some of them are going to get bronze. Thank you guys so much. Wait, do you guys, wait, do you guys want to do a 4v4? To decide who the real second place is to get more money or nah because if you really win and get the $60 for second you'll get $15 a piece wait the other team has to agree though Ma Rossi encrypted next story would have to agree to a 4v4 to decide the second and third I don't know if they want it Ma Rossi hasn't said much no nope, we're just gonna do it my way 12 and a half extra dollars to all of you guys